It's me, Haley. Do you know what the longest book in the Bible is? If you said Psalms, you're right. Today we're going to hear about the book of Psalms and two other books in the Bible, Proverbs and Ecclesiastes. King David wrote a lot of the Psalms, and his son King Solomon wrote a lot of Proverbs. What are these books about anyway? Let's find out. King David wrote many Psalms or songs about his love for God. The Israelites collected the songs David and other people wrote and put them in the Bible in the book of Psalms. David wrote Psalms to God when he was happy and thankful. David said, Yahweh, our Lord, how magnificent is your name throughout the earth. David also sang praises to God when he was sad or afraid. David sang, when I am afraid, I put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust, I shall not be afraid. David also wrote songs to show how important it is to read and learn God's word. David said, I have treasured your word in my heart so that I may not sin against you. David thought about God's word all the time. He taught his son Solomon to love and follow God's word too. When Solomon became king, he asked God for wisdom to lead the Israelites. God gave Solomon so much wisdom that everyone knew God had blessed Solomon. Solomon wrote thousands of wise sayings called Proverbs. He also wrote more than a thousand songs. In the book of Proverbs, Solomon told people how to make wise decisions. If people listened to God's word and did what God told them to do, God would bless them and protect them. They would get along with their friends and neighbors. They would have happy marriages and families. They would be healthy and live long lives. If they did not listen to God's word and obey them, they would make bad decisions and face consequences for their sins. Trust in God with all your heart, Solomon wrote in Proverbs 3, 5. Watch how hard an ant works. Work hard too. This is the wise thing to do, Proverbs 6, 6. People do not always listen to God's words. In the book of Ecclesiastes, Solomon said that God made the world so that people would worship God and see how good God is. Solomon even wrote a poem. He taught that there was a time for everything, a time to give birth and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. Ecclesiastes 3, 2 through 4. Wisdom in the Bible is not just words about how to live. God gives us wisdom because He wants us to be like Jesus in how we live, how we speak, and how we think. We become wise by knowing and loving Jesus, who became God-given wisdom for us. 1 Corinthians 1.30 Where does wisdom come from? Yes, wisdom comes from God. Wisdom helps us live in ways that are pleasing to God. Wisdom also makes us like Jesus in how we live, how we speak, and how we think. King Solomon asked for wisdom, and God gave him wisdom. You can ask God to give you wisdom too.